Okay, it's uh, Chuck again. And what I've done so far today with this uh, system is I have filled up the uh, tank to 800 uh, uh, liters. I have got the, uh, the toad upside down and I've actually installed the, uh, uh, the, the inlet pipe. And here's the tubing with a lot of uh, uh, aquarium uh, clear um, sealant. All right, so that, I'm going to give that 24 hours to cure. My, now, my interest now is in building an improved filter. Now, this is a system I've used. This is a uh, pickle jar. And uh, the tube, again, come in from the pump. Comes down to the bottom. I don't know if we can see it. There it is. Mm -hmm. And the water comes up. And it pushes against this uh, fiber, this fiber fill that I bought from Walmart for uh, stuffing uh, pillows. And it comes out. Now you should observe that this is uh, what they call 3 8 inch tubing. The outer diameter is actually a half an inch. Okay, And this here tubing here is sort of a, it's a little firmer than drip irrigation. And I believe it's actually used, I believe it's used for sprinkler systems. You know, you would lay this down in the ground. So anyway, the, the inner diameter is a half inch maybe a little bit tighter. And what's nice is just by pressing these in, you get a really good seal. Okay, so you don't have to buy any kind of coupling devices. So this is sort of the poor man's way of connecting a tubing. What's nice is this tubing, of course, it fits down onto one of the, uh, the coupling devices for the actual pump. All right, so the concept is water drives down the bottom, it comes up through the fiber fill, and it collects all the, uh, the gunk in the water. And there's some gunk right there. So here's the improved system. Okay, I'm going to take this PVC pipe, and the fiber fill is going to go inside this pipe. It's a four-inch pipe. I believe this is about 24 inches tall. Now on the bottom side, there is going to be this flange right here. The pipe is going to sit right here, and on the bottom, of course, is threaded. Okay, there we go. And as you, can, as, you, as you can surmise, the goal then is that this is going to be the access. I'll be able to reach up in here, pull out the old fiber fill, and put in the new stuff. Now on the top side, what I have is this. Okay. I have this cap, the end cap. With a, uh, I've got me a half inch hole cut here, or drilled. i got the tubing coming down so far. And then I bought me this sink strainer. Because one of the problems you have is... You can actually drive um, uh, you know, the, the silt, the waste, back up and you can actually clog uh, the, the system. I actually have a little stocking over this little tube down inside that uh, blocks any kind of particulates from getting inside. Okay. Plus the actual fiber fill itself can actually work its way back into the water. So the strainer is all about capturing that. Okay. Now on the piece here, uh, the the long piece, I put in another half inch hole. This is going to be the su supply. Water is going to come in. And the tube comes down near the bottom. Okay. And I'm going to put this cap up right here, just like this. It fit. That was an accident. I didn't mean for this to happen. Uh, sometimes I get lucky. Then, of course, this piece right here is going to sit just like this and press down on it. Then, of course, I will uh, seal this. Okay, and that's going to be the system. Okay, so water will come into here, flow down the bottom, and then it will force its way back up to the fiber fill, up to the strainer, and back out like that. Okay, well that's all I've got for right now. Uh, oh yeah, one other thing is, you know, this afternoon I also took the old grow bed material. I took it outside, and I rinsed it pretty thoroughly. So there it is, rinsed. Uh, I think I got most of the effluents off. I'm sure there's a little bit more in there. I got some new lava rock that I went ahead and rinsed, so I've got plenty of rock. Now one problem I have to address on this system is that the system is now blowing out. Uh, it's, been over, it's been over a week and now the water is actually causing this thing to stretch. So I'm thinking about buying either a strap or rope to go around there to help strengthen the, uh, the outer diameter. Put some sort of band on there to help make it a little more durable. Ideally, I, I suppose I should have built a box out of wood and placed this tank inside of it. But I didn't want to spend the money on that. Hopefully I can make it work. Okay. Well, that's it for now.